it's 9 p.m. in RTD. It's time to English New Edition for tonight's headlines. So we have uh, the Prime Minister preside the ceremony to launch Air Djibouti flight at uh, Tajura region for the International Sea and Syria Organization of Islamic State. Uh, I recognize it, the largest uh, it last territory in the middle of Rat Valley. Welcome to our newsroom. Uh, India awards uh, one of the highest uh, honor to the President Gelli on the occasion of the 17th anniversary of his uh, National Day. The Republic of India today des designated uh, on Friday the President of Djibouti, His Excellency Ismail Omar Gelli, the lucky recipient of uh, Padma uh, Vibhushan, uh, one of the highest uh, civilian honors uh, she bestowed. She bestowed the award of this prize to the Djibouti head of state is uh, in line with his uh, permanent commitment to securing, stabilizing, and uh, pacifying this uh, strategic part of the world. It's also in line with the portrait acquired by our country, which is under the auspices of the President Gelli, has been referring for more than a decade the images of, uh, of a platform for integration and the fight against terrorism, maritime piracy. The commitment of Djibouti and its uh, president to peace and the resolutions of uh, conflict through dialogue in, uh, is also noticeable through our regular post hostings uh, of talks uh, supposedly leading to viable uh, additives and sustainable regula regu regulations for uh, political crisis. Uh, as for the concessions uh, for India of these prizes to the president of Djibouti, it intends to reward the humanist policy of President Kelly and his country having recently, when the civil war broke out in Yemen, lent equal assistance to people fleeing the hostility. The Indian state award Padma Vibhushan uh, in a distinction, a distinctive uh, to enlightened leaders whose uh, work contributes significantly to peace, uh, rapprochement, and peaceful uh, coexistence of peoples. Uh, the award of this prize uh, to the President of Djibouti came on the occasion of the celebrations of the 17th national uh, anniversary of the Republic of India. At the announcement of the news, uh, President Ismail Margele did not fail to send uh, his heartfelt thanks uh, to the government and the friendly people of India. He also used the context of uh, celebrating the 17th anniversary of national independence of the Republic of India to welcome economic development a consequences of the significant technological, intellectual, and creative uh, ingenuity characterizing uh, these countries uh, in recent uh, decades. Uh, the Prime Minister Abdul Qadir Kamil Mohammed uh, uh, yesterday morning sponsored the inauguration ceremony of a domestic flights of Air Djibouti company to the tourist city of Tjura. It is uh, at the head of a strong delegation is that the Prime Minister went yesterday to stay in the regions of Tjura about the inaugural flight of future domestic services. Uh, the launch of the flight is uh, scheduled for January 31. Uh, the delegation accompanied the Prime Minister during this inauguration ceremony organized uh, by the national airline Air Djibouti was composed of several members of government including the Minister of Interior, the Minister of Defense, the Minister of Transport, the Minister Delegate for Decentralization, the Secretary of State for Use and Sport, the Mediators of Republic, uh, the General Officers of the Armed Forces uh, including General uh, Zakaria Shah Ibrahim, the General uh, Directors of the Police, uh, from the mayors of the Djibouti City, representative of the United Nations System, as well as uh, the managing directors of several companies, including the Director General of the Airport, as well as the CEO of the Air Djibouti, Abdurrahman Abdi. All uh, this uh, beautiful uh, took place about three aircraft uh, with a capacity of 15 seats, each uh, Mr. Abdul Qadir Kamil Mohammed said in his intervention is the benefit of these domestic services of three flights per week. Uh, 
that will reduce uh, the travel times of our fellow citizens to the cities of Tajara and Obo and encourage uh, domestic uh, tourism and investment in facilitating the flow of na national visitors and economic operators. Indeed, the tourist site of uh, Godoria Sable Blanc presents immense the huge uh, tourist potentiality, just like uh, the regions of Rassian, which, which will be with Lacabe and the cities, the cities of the south, the next destination is served by Air Djibouti. The partnership agreement signed between Air Djibouti and the National Tourist Office respond to the desires of uh, both uh, entities to collaborate as part of the government effort to boost uh, domestic uh, tourism and economic activity in the region. The director of LGBT said that the inauguration ceremony honored by the Prime Minister and the government delegation augur a new era that ends a long absence uh, that uh, 29 years of uh, absence. Uh, the prefect uh, and the president of the regional council is thanked in their intervention is the president uh, of the republic uh, for his uh, visionary policy that encouraged domestic tourism and investment by facilitating the flow and movement of visitors and economic operators. They are thus uh, held the initiative of uh, the national airline Air Djibouti to serve the region uh, of the interior. The Interior Minister Hassan Omar Mohammed has announced that the return of Air Djibouti flight to the region is uh, the will of the President of the Republic, Mama Gele. He had given instructions to the company for her domestic flight to the region. Today, this return is re reality. We thank the President of the Republic. He said the three maritime and air transport routes are now available in the Tajora region. He also said that travel between the capital will be accelerated thanks uh, to air flight uh, Djibouti. These uh, regular flights are intended for the Tajora's people, but also tourists. Uh. For his part, the Minister of Transport, Mr. Mohammed Abdul Qadir Musa Halem, said in his uh, speech uh, at the ceremony that uh, the return of Air Links uh, Djibouti becomes a reality. We have implemented uh, a strategy since 2015 for this return which was uh, concretized with the launch of domestic flight to the region. The company has also embarked at on a training policy for pilots in Kenya and currently 15 young people are taking the training, including four Chadians. He also announced that uh, Tujura will benefit from a second boat that will commit uh, with uh, the capital, the traffic uh, operational by sea and by the skies, uh, the moves to Ethiopia will accelerate uh, with the new Tujura Balho, whose construction is in, in the final stage. Air Djibouti will uh, build a new air flight uh, equipped with a waiting room for passengers. The Minister of Transport concluded his remarks, uh, also announcing that Air Djibouti intends to expand its flights uh, to the localities. Uh, For his part, the Prime Minister Abdul Qadir Khan Mohammed said that the return ceremony of Air Flight Djibouti was chaired yesterday by the Prime Minister Abdul Qadir Khan Mohammed. Uh, immediately before the audience gathered at the seaside, the Prime Minister said that the reception of Air Djibouti to derive a strong sign for a new dynamism of development in the region of Tajara. The port and road infrastructure are operational. Today, it is possible to connect Tajara and Balho in less than uh, two hours for, for fastest moving users will now use Djibouti Air Fly. The first sent uh, a message to young people who must benefit from development op opportunities made by, Tujura, by the government in the regions of Tajara. They must take advantage of the jobs of major uh, development project. The dynamism of development is uh, visible in Tujura with the launch of uh, the construction. 
The Minister of Health has received yesterday afternoon the delegation is composed of the, of the, the United States uh, Embassy in Djibouti, Mr. Alexander Hamilton, USAID representative, Ms. Uh, Rabia Matin, the commanders of uh, base uh, trash directors of the Department of Security Cooperations and the program in charge, Mr. Mansour Ahmed. This uh, meeting took place in the presence of the acting Secretary General, Nima Musa, as well as uh, the senior executive uh, of the department. The discussion is focused on the progress of the construction project uh, of uh, Galafi Health Post under Yoboki Prefecture of Dekil region. The Kontali has post of Dekil Prefecture also. Alexander Hamilton praised the effort of the government of Djibouti to develop the health systems, particularly through the extensions of universal health uh, coverage uh, for his part. The Minister of uh, Health, uh, Dr. Jama Elmi Okie, emphasized the special interest uh, that the government of Djibouti this maintains uh, this uh, cooperation in the context of raising the quality of care to the entire population of uh, Djibouti. They arriving yesterday in the morning in Djibouti. The 37 members of the Chinese delegation composed of tourist promoters to tower operators and press travel experts uh, visit yesterday at an exhibition uh, and sale organized by UNFT in front of the town hall of the city of uh, Djibouti. An expo sale will that will run until uh, Saturday, January 25, accustomed to their arrival by the mayors of the city of Djibouti, women parliamentarian, and many representatives of the UNFT. The Chinese delegation uh, was able to take advantage of the various handcrafts exhibit uh, indeed its product made by women in the capitals and the five regions of the interior were exhibited uh, on several stand products representing Djiboutian cultural diversity. This expo sale was uh, animated by local artists like uh, Nahari Gesoud and Abdul Abizid Ali UNFT, which has always been involved in the development of culture and the national tourism, organized uh, this uh, expo cell in the heart of uh, the Chinese uh, delegation that are in Djibouti to discover and measure uh, the cultural and tourist potential of Djibouti in order to encourage Djibouti Chinese investors to come and discover our beautiful country. The mayor of the city of Djibouti, Fatma Awal Osman, the project coordinators of UNFT, Rukia Ali, as well as uh, the participants in this fair expressed their gratitude for the arrivals of, the, of this uh, Chinese delegation in Djibouti and the organizations of this exhibition sale. A workshop for information and awareness of civil society actors on the Djibouti preparations program with the green background for the climate uh, is held on the main mornings of uh, the, uh, the People's Palace. Uh, the workshop is included in the context of the implementation of the program and is uh, intended to raise awareness and inform civil society actors on the procedures of the Green Climate Fund, the involvement of non-governmental organizations uh, in actions to combat uh, climate change is, is important for the success of this program. The opening ceremony was presided by the Secretary General of the Ministry of uh, Environment, Mr. Dini Abdallah, with participation with the Director of the Environment, Mr. Hussein Riraj, the National Expert, Idris Ismail, and the representatives of the civil society and associations. The objective of uh, this uh, workshop was to present the preparation program of uh, Djibouti with the green background of the, for the climate to make the civil society actors now the opportunities offered by the financing of the in matters of the adaptation and mitigation so to provide a climate information and awareness platforms and not the green climate fund on the climate green bottoms uh, modality the financing process and international consultant mr idris uh, ahmed Hared and the others experts make uh, a general representation is uh, 
during the Green Fund for Climate and from his side the Secretary General indicated that this is uh, the Green Fund for Climate Change uh, exposes uh, humanity while entirely has a great uh, treat really the effort of development engaged by the nations of the war for more accurate E. Following the initiative of the of our ambassador to Germany, Mr. Aden Hamed Leta, the cities of Hanover today welcomed an important conference gathering the ambassador of the IGAD countries and the businessmen of the Hanover Chambers of Commerce. The meeting was uh, chaired by Ambassador Adam Mohamed Dileta, who is also chairman of the IGAD Ambassadors Group in Germany, Deputy G Director General of, uh, of the Djibouti Free Zone, Mohamed Adam Wabri, also participate in this conference, uh, an opportunity to present the potential of uh, our country, expansions of cooperation between East African countries and around 100 German companies was widely raised. Uh, moreover, the day before Ambassador Adam Mohamed Dileta and the delegations of the authorities of Ports and Free Zone, led by Mr. Obakar Omar Hadi, had a meet in Hamburg, a significant numbers of private operators and investors, German port sectors and logistics interest in the growing economic development of our country. German operators and businessmen are very interested in the investment opportunities of our country. The week a German delegation is from the city of uh, Karl Roche, led uh, by the Myers had stayed in uh, Djibouti. She was accompanied by our ambassador Adam Mohamed Dileta, very active to channel investors to Djibouti according to the instructions of the president to put the Djiboutian diplomacy in the services of national development. The Directorate of uh, Maritime Affairs, in collaboration with the International Maritime Organizations, closed uh, this morning a seminar on the facilitating of maritime transport traffic. This seminar, which be lasted uh, three days, uh, was uh, opened by the Director of Maritime Affairs, Mr. Ali, Ali Miraha Shem Dauda. The seminar brought together all the actors involved in the maritime transport chain including, of course, support maritime agency, but also set state institutions such as customs and the immigration policy. Uh, it is hosted by the two international experts from the International uh, Maritime Organization. The facilitations of maritime transport traffic institutionalized uh, by the conventions of the International Maritime Organization, better known by its acronym FALL, convention is AIM, to facilitate maritime transport by reducing paperwork, uh, simplifying the formalities, the required uh, documents and relate procedures on arrival, stay and departures of vessels engaged on international travel. It is uh, this vision is that the transport chain has developed digital talks tools uh, with the establishment of uh, structures and mechanisms uh, bringing together the entire port uh, community. In his speech, the international experts of the International Maritime Organization is uh, Janet uh, underlined that the International Maritime Organization has made very has made every effort to make uh, these uh, seminars a success uh, by depicting international experts. In his speech, the director of the Maritime Affairs, Mr. Ali Mirah Chahamdawood, uh, did not fail to recall the importance of this seminar at that time when our ports are asserting the predominance uh, of ports in the region and also took the opportunities to thank uh, the Minister of Transport for this uh, initiative. Indeed, according to the director of Maritime Affairs, the statistics uh, show that uh, countries uh, with efficient foreign infrastructure have better figures for import and exports. Uh, for the international scene, uh, Felix Sisekedi uh, officially becomes uh, president of uh, Democratic Republic of uh, Congo. Listen to the report. The Republic of Congo, Felix Sisekedi, has been in two office. He told supporters at the ceremony that the presidential place in Kinshasa he wanted to build a reconciliated Congo. 
Mr. Jisikiri was briefly taken ill before resuming his speech. He is taken over from Joseph Kabila in the first peaceful transfer of power in the country in your 16 years, though many still dispute his victory in last month's presidential election. Addressing the Crown, President Jisikiri said, We want to appeal a strong Congo turn toward development in peace and security. A Congo for all, which everyone has a place. And to close up this edition, the Queen sent a Brexit message uh, to UK politician and of your uh, bikering. More details with this report. Saying a delicately quoted a message to Britain, save a choose a political legacy over Brexit, urging the Prime Ministers to seek a common ground and cross the big picture to solve the crisis. With the clock taken down to March 29, the date set in law for Britain to leave the European Union, the United Kingdom is is in the deepest political crisis in half a century as it crumbles it with how or even whether to exit the European project it joined it in 1973. The Queen say, as we look for new answers in the modern age, I for one prefer to try to untest the principles, like speaking well of each other and respecting different point of view, coming together to seek out the common ground and never losing sight of the bigger picture. This is it uh, for the news. Thanks uh, for watching us.